Hey everybody, Corey here from Part of Pro. We're at the PGA Merchandise Show 2024 Demo Day. We're here with our friends Daniel and I'm sorry I forgot your name already. Ricardo, how could I forget that? Sorry, Ricardo. Um, Ricardo's from the South Africa office and he's gonna hit some balls for us. Daniel, tell us what's new and cool at FlightScope. Yeah, exciting times again at the PGA show for FlightScope. Um, kind of an annual occurrence here for us. Uh, debuting a couple of new units uh, here at the show. The first, uh, recognizably a bit larger, is gonna be our X3 2024 edition. First thing you'll notice is definitely the new white front face, as well as the carbon fiber backing, which definitely sheds some weighting, makes it easier, more trans transport transportable, as well as uh, easily uh, taken to and from the driving range. The simulator makes things much easier. Uh, no additional data as far as capabilities, uh, but definitely a nice upgrade in the looks department. Next to it, you'll see the new limited edition Mevo Plus. Uh, again, yes, limited edition. Uh, as you can see, the color change uh, is slightly a uh, little bit on the front and on the back. Uh, the biggest thing with the limited edition is going to be the inclusion of Pro Package as well as the face impact location with the entire price of $3,499, uh, which is a really nice price point entry. The other part of it that's nice, Corey, is going to be that E6 package that comes with it. It's a, again, limited edition package only with the Mevo Plus. You can't buy it anywhere else. It includes Pebble Beach, St. Andrews, Harbor Town, bunch of tour stops on there. So a pretty impressive little package that comes with it. Fantastic. Now, Ricardo, you're going to hit a couple of shots for us. What are we kidding on here? We got the X3 or? Uh, it is the Mevo Plus Limited Edition that's running here on our software that you're going to see. A um, few things that we've added to the software. Um, the biggest advantage that we're going to add this year is going to be our Badger AI. Uh, so the best part about the Badger AI is it really fills in a lot of gaps that you might find out on the driving range. It's a live chat feature that comes through the app where you can actually ask it questions relative to the data you're providing. So things like club averages compared to tour players, uh, equipment suggestions such as tuning a driver's loft or even changing out for a different shaft suggestion. The opportunities are literally endless with this uh, cool new feature uh, that we're hoping to release shortly after the show. Uh, pricing on it uh, is uh, TBD. We're still trying to determine how that's going to go, uh, but we're really, really excited about that new tool and being able to really explore every avenue of your golf game. Awesome. Now, he's taking all these shots. What are we going to see yeah, from out of here? Sure. So come on over here. Let's show you the iPad screen real quick if we can. So he's been hitting a few shots here on the screen. Pretty standard trajectory screen. We haven't changed anything relative here. However, you will see, just like I mentioned, that new Badger AI it is a floating button. You can move anywhere on the screen to make it easily accessible. And once you open it right up, you can see how you can actually ask it questions right then and there. You just type them right in. So it makes it very, very easy to use. Uh, just another upgrade that we're bringing software side. Now, that's just one of the few software upgrades we're actually bringing for the Mevo Plus as well as our X3 customers. We're also bringing out the Club Optimizer, which, Corey, you might remember this from the VX app and our legacy models like the X-Series, XI, X2, X2 Elites. Uh, what the Club Optimizer actually allows you to do is it actually allows you to hit some shots and then adjust how that shot is actually affected. So you can tune the smash factor, you can tune the, uh, the spin rate, the launch angle, and then you can actually see how that's gonna affect your distance. So you can play around with the lofts and the spins and say, man, I can gain 10 yards by just having optimal spin and launch. So again, just ways that you can play around and, and help do that. Before it was only driver and three wood. Now it's every club in the bag wedged through driver. Awesome, so, really now cool we're not tool. Really seeing that up on screen there. It's probably just we got to pick up. Yep, I've got to actually do a couple things here. I see. We're in a reviewed session, that's why. All right, go ahead and hit one more for us, Ricardo. There we go. We're ready. And seven iron. Uh, one sec. Okay, you're good to go.
Perfect. So that full data screen here, it's a new, a new button right here, Club Optimizer. It's going to show your face impact location if you have that capable. It's going to take a few shots for it to average. And then once that, you probably have to hit three shots there, Ricardo. Oh, say there, select it. Yep, once you select it. So impact location, optimal. If I actually, it shows you the green areas of launch anywhere really between, uh, you know, with a driver, it's going to be between 11 and 15. The other club's going to be a little bit different. Smash factor, you can tune that up to see if I centerize my strike, you can see actually how much different the flight is there at the bottom. So a pretty cool feature. Again, spins a little high, so if we take that spin down quite a bit, you can see how that changes the flight as well. So really cool ways to play around, optimize your golf clubs, and ensure that you've got proper equipment that you're utilizing. If that's not enough for you, we actually have another feature that, again, was previously with just our X3 model that we're now bringing to our Mevo Plus Pro Package holders. That is gonna be the environmental optimizer. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to change your environment without changing your location. Things like wind speed, wind direction, temperature, humidity, altitude, all of those things you can actually adjust. So it does show what I have set here at the top of the screen. And if you look here, there's actually two trajectories. There's a blue one and a yellow one. Blue is what actually would happen in these conditions. Yellow is the shot that he actually just hit right then and there. It doesn't just show it on the screen as far as the trajectory. You also have measured data in white versus the gray line of data, which would then be that condition that you have set. So right now we're, we have it set for a 52 mile an hour wind into us. You can see how easy it is to simply adjust it change the direction, the speed of the wind, and then the other things you can obviously do whatever you want custom, or you can actually just do a standard sea level normalized if you want as well. So a whirlwind of options and updates that we've uh, brought to the table this year. Fantastic, I know there's also the tracer, but we can uh, yes. talk more about that tomorrow. Looking yes. forward to hearing more. Seeing more stuff on the indoor show, might get some a little better lighting in there. Yeah. A few little bit of bits of glare. A little glare. bit of glare, yeah. But uh, that happens. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Daniel. Guys, for more information, you can always visit us at www.par2pro.com. Thanks again, man. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ricardo. Thanks, guys.